Ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, welcome Dr. John Maynard Grave. I am Dr. John Maynard Grave from Bacoor, Cavite. A registered nurse for 13 years and practicing dentistry for a little over five years now. Just to give you a little background no, on how Santi Barley came into my life, Santi Barley was introduced to me by Ma'am Noemi Alvaran and Ma'am Sherry Rowa. If I remember it correctly, it was during one of our activities in Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary. I mentioned that I was having um, hyperacidity. In fact, I already have GERD or the gastroesophageal reflux. And because of that, I was having trouble sleeping. I can barely eat and worse, I was having a hard time swallowing food, water, or even my own saliva and ended up uh, throwing up every time. This is the time my doctor decided to go on a procedure like endoscopy procedure para malaman talaga kung ano yung nangyayari sa akin. But moving forward, sa activity nga po namin nila Ma'am Noemi, na nabanggit nila sa akin yung Sunday party. Ma'am Noemi uh, mentioned it and then suggested it to try. And without hesitations, me and Doc Paz ordered and drink Santi Barley uh, on a regular basis. By grace of God and consuming Santi Barley every day, I feel better. Today, I was asked to give a lecture on oral health care, one of the most neglected part of our overall health. Yet, it is also one of the most important part of one's health. So according to the World Health Organization, oral health is a key indicator of overall health, well-being, and quality of life. Oral hygiene is an integral part of personal hygiene practices and should not be neglected. Similar to hand hygiene, na paulit-ulit po natin naririnig ngayon kasi nga meron tayong pandemic na pinagdadaanan, it is also essential in reducing infection from the oral cavity and thus its transfer to other parts of the body. Like for example, your lungs, your kidneys, and other vital organs of the body. So normally po, the body's natural defenses and good oral health care such as daily, daily brushing, flossing, keep the bacteria under control kasi nga po, puro bacteria talaga yung bibig natin. However, without proper oral hygiene, bacteria can reach levels that might lead to oral infections. So, ito po yung ayaw nating mangyari. So, uh, because of that, pag tumaas yung mga bad bacteria po natin sa bibig, nagkakaroon po ng tooth decay and gum disease. Merong certain medications na nakaka-affect po sa ating oral health. So, yung mga decongestants, antihistamines, the painkillers, the diuretics, and the antidepressants. It can reduce salivary flow, meaning na babawasan po yung pagproduce ng ating laway. I'm not saying that yung bacteria na galing sa bibig natin is the sole reason kung bakit tayo nagkakaroon ng mga ganitong sakita. But it is it plays a major role. It, they contribute a major factor in developing this kind of diseases. It is important to tell your dentist about the medications you take and about the changes in your overall health, especially if you've recently been ill or you have chronic conditions such as diabetes. 